Hi Alan, it's Danny here from CAD International. I'm going to show you how to draw a pillar using using RealCAD. Now, um, just the elevation view. Please note that this method is just one of many methods that you could use to actually do it. So, but I, I find this one in particular quite simple. Um, the first thing to do is I'm going to make sure that I um, that I show the grid so I can snap into into points. So I'm just going to set up the spacing at as uh, 50 mil, 50 mil for everything. I'm then going to force it to snap to the grid, and I'm also going to display the grid. Okay, so that's the first thing to do. And now the next thing to do is to start off drawing a rectangle as the base of my pillar. So that rectangle is going to have a fixed width and height, and let's say the width is going to be uh, 800. 800 mil and the height is going to be 300. Then I'm going to click OK and then as, as you can see I could e either click anywhere in the drawing or just press the enter key on my keyboard to place it right there. Now I'm going to place another another panel uh, so that would be another part of my pillar and that's going to be 600 by 200 as another example and then what I can do is I can just click and drop it in there. 600, 200, and then I can continue on and add another panel like this. So the width is going to be 400 and the height 2 meters. And then I can just snap onto that corner and that's it. And the same for the top. Um, I just can do the same perhaps. 600, 200, or just let's, let's put it 150 just to make it a little bit different. And the other one is going to be 800 by 200, just like that. Now, this is a really, really simple pillar, but um, all the things that we can do is we can add a couple of circles there, um, just to a certain distance, like 50 mil. And let's say I'm just going to place it uh, right here on this side. Uh, on this side there and then the other one right here and using this magic tool I'm just going to get rid of these bits here okay and we could also add some fillets to it so I could come to this option here and let's say that my fillet is going to be 50 mil uh, from this point to that point and I'm going to do the same from here to here and let's say I want to do a bigger one, a hundred mil fillet for these two, from here to here, and from here to here. And maybe we can do the same, a hundred mil from there, from from there to there, and this one as well. I'm just going to repeat this one. Yeah. 100 from here to here and then 50 again from here to here and from here to here and that's it I mean the next thing to do if you want is to add some dimensions to it so I could use this let's say vertical dimension I'm going to place my dimension here and it's gonna go from this point to this point, then that point there, and this point here. Now I have to change the print scale to something like 1 um, or like 10 to display it properly, or maybe maybe 50, no, 30. Mm, 30 is too big, but yeah, I mean, you get the idea. You can change the size just doing this. Uh, I think 10 is probably better. Okay. And I think that's that's all for now, Alan. Uh, let us know if you need anything else. And um, yeah, I hope you like this video. Thanks, Alan. Bye.